This will never end Cause I want more More Give me more Give me more This will never end Cause I want more More Give me more Give me more Near fire to heart I could love you if I had a voice, I would sing And after the night when I wake up I'll see what tomorrow brings If I had a voice, I would sing This looks like a job for Super Hello everybody, this is Superbud, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V. Good morning gamers! Strap in, game on. Goodbye! Oh, you're running? Damn it. What is happening? Citizens reporting. Assault with a deadly weapon in, uh... Oh, it's alive. I do not like shooting dogs. Is that a pug? It's a pug. Hmm. Okay, in we go. We got two missions for Michael. Well, Mama told me when I was young, said, Sit beside me, my only oh, son. I still haven't come across the uh, Lambo yet, but it shows up. It's one of the other ones that shows up. Go see Lester. Listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. I it Take your time, don't live too fast. Troubles will come and they will pass. You'll find a warm mom and you'll find love. And don't forget that there is a someone. Oh, Oh, won't you do this for me, son? 
That's what happens when you try to trick Michael to Santa. I can get on some decent clothes after this mission. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester. About what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye-find alert. That little... College boy, sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you lying talking turd. about? Lying turd. You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here. Take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> it's 
go get in the car. Another sun sets down behind me Another day comes crashing in There's a whispering wind that's blowing There's a storm that's closing in I can hear the trains, they're rolling To a place I've never been And I can feel her breath beside me With an empty glass of gin as the darkness settles in, I can hear her voice again, I can hear your voice. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Michael, I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you act entitled? Fine. Life Invader. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm totally Invader becoming a zone. tech evangelist when the big Yoga zone. Best. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize Sweat anything. Lodge. Even evangelizing. Look at him. He can untangle a box of wires, but he gets confused around the people. Hi, Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so bound to social restraints... No, 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 I'm not restrained at all. I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll take a seat. Mm. See? Mm. You're relaxed already. Let the creative juices flow. <laughs> Kaboom! You just got pwned, my friend. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Boop. Boop. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> Bear with me, all right? You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. And we scan. Scanning. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> Almost cracked it. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Literally. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. We'll know everything. That's so cool. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye now. Time to go. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, um... All right, follow me. Okay. That guy's not getting a job here. Some a-hole drank my effing head milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Heading out. Get out. 
car. Head home. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Down! They doomed you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie They're not guy. all the same. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Michael don't like games, and yet he's in a game. That is why kids need a TV in their own room. You all disgust me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. Weirdos. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. You're stealing personal information, Bob. We have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. Did you say butthole? The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus! Huh. Hold on a Fuck second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Goodbye, God. partner. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! We just saved millions of people's personal, personal data. was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Okay, time to go meet Lester again.
And here we go. Tell me that. Not you! The Dieter Sachs door detective! There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen, you worthless turd! You still owe me a drink. <laughs> Top of it. Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Great! Real inconspicuous! Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm not saying anything! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah, thank you.
The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? 
I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Okay. Guess we're taking this car. The shop's on Little Portola. I wonder where you take this car. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? Nope. Guess it has to be that car. Okay. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. We should ditch the police escort. Maybe bringing the authorities along is not such a good idea. While we case the joint, not so smart. Here we are. Sir, thank you. Glasses are live. Shoot away. All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Uh, shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> No, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 
18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. You know who I am! I'm not gonna stand here and take your shit. Okay, okay, let's all take it. No, bro, huh? You're late. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Okay. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. <sighs> Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Wishful thinking, Michael. Wishful thinking. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Get back to the car. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. 
Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. And there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you... Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long... Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. If this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Great. I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Well, that is all. Hold on. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog, but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Well, that's all the time I have for right now. I'll pick it up same place next time. Bye-bye. Hello again. 
if you made it this far. I thank you for watching my video. And check one of the links if you want to see more of my stuff. And if you're one of my fans, remember to keep buzzing. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.